Hey guys, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're actually hooked up to a Gale machine with a John Deere engine here and with the Texas off-highway unit. I'm just going to get us connected here and I'm choosing John Deere Industrial Tier 4. And we're just on a 9-pin connection here. And we'll give this just a second to load up. Alright, the ignition is on. And confirm here. Alright. Take just a second to connect here. Okay, as you can see, this thing connects pretty quickly, but we've got 162 different parameters here. And I'm actually just going to kind of scroll through, and you can graph things out if you need to as well. But I'll let you see or take a look at all the parameters here and all your emission stuff's in here as well your DPF, temperatures, soot loads. But I might get on down here towards the bottom. And they just populate as you scroll down. As you can see, each time I stop, they'll fill in. All right. Another neat thing with this is we actually have the dashboard function here. And we got three different panels here. And this is, you know, same parameters as before, but I'll break it down into a picture format. Sometimes that's a little easier to read there. Underneath the faults here. Okay, you can actually double click these and get your fault code and your FMI there. One neat thing about this is we can actually go down here to knowledge base and we can look these up and get the service information on them here. And that just shows the John Deere 4045 tier 4 here. Let me find the code. Alright, that's it right there. And once this loads up, okay. As you can see, this is going to give you a little bit of diagnostic information here. And we'll get out of that. And that's going to be the same thing for each one of these codes. You can double click them and get your code and then be able to look it up there. Under the ECU information, it's just going to give you some software numbers, um, fuel system codes, things like that. The activations, this is where you can actually get in here. You can do cylinder cutoff tests, EGR valve cleanings, um, misfire tests, and you just click start at that point and you can go on into it. But, over here in the settings, this is where you can get in here. You can force your regions. Um, and you actually click the question mark there, and it'll give you a little bit of information about the test each time or what specs you need to meet before you do it as far as engine temperature and all that. Overall, looks like we got really good coverage of this engine here. All right, thanks for watching.